Upper intake is back on and torqued. Fuel lines are reinstalled. Reinstalled the heater line or heater core coolant lines. Um, <clears throat> I basically just soldered these guys together. Um, just to test it and make sure. Um, I'm not going to route it all yet, like I was saying. I'm going to test it all, make sure. Um, hook this guy to ground right here. Um, and I got to put the the eyelets on the battery connection for this guy. But we're getting close. Closer than we were yesterday. Initially, I'm going to put the connector for the wideband 02. I'm gonna run it this way. I have not routed it at all. Um, basically, I'm just picking what side the O2 sensor I want it to, you know, O2 sensor goes on. It only has one. Um, initially, it's much, much, much too much wire <laughs> uh, to go on the passenger side. So I'm running it down here by the brake booster. Excuse the Disney band aid. <laughs> uh, down through here. And I haven't attached it at all, but I'm going to kind of route it with the battery cable. And there it is there. So, um, it fits. It's a little long, uh, but I'll be able to tighten it up more when I'm sure exactly that's how I want it. But the other O2 sensor, you can kind of see it in the pipe over there. It was just way too much wire to go to that one. Um, so I decided this one eats up some of that extra wire. All right, this is where I'm getting manifold vacuum from for the Terminator control unit. Uh, it's just one of the two that goes under the intake. There's two ports. One's for the PCB system, um, and one's kind of next to it that's a little smaller. I had to get a T and kind of force this one on because the manifold connector I got was bigger. Um, I thought the kit was supposed to come with two or three different ones. Maybe that's a universal one. Um, so I had to, the only thing I could find right now is a T. So I capped it off and ran it down kind of with the rest of the harness. It's way long right now. I'm not worried about routing that quite exactly yet. Um, and it just goes in the grommet in the car and run under the carpet to the Terminator control module. All right, there it is, uh, initial initial fitment anyway. Um, I don't have the bolts for the bracket apparently. I'm not sure where they went. Um, where the vacuum line is happiest is kind of making a soft turn and then a soft U. Um, instead of making all that under the carpet, it kept one to kink. Um, but she's in. I did forget about this guy. Um, I'm not going to permanently wire it in yet. I'm going to put the terminal ends on these and hook it without the connect, without the, without the weather pack connector to the Terminator harness. Um, since, like I said, yes, like I said before, it the, the directions just basically say match the colors. Um, so I found basically a SN95 pinout. This is the black wire, the middle one is the green wire, and the bottom one is the orange wire. Um, so I'm going to hook it up that way, as you know, testing it to make sure it works. So here's the pins for it, and the connector, and the three pieces of, of weather pack. Um, this is what you have to wire to this here, and then it plugs in. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Um, it plugs in here. So there's the black, green, and orange wires, and that's what I have to match up. But I'm going to put the pins on the wire and then just plug them, plug them in without this part of the connector just to make sure it's right. Um, 
I mean, these are easy enough to get the pens out of, but it's easier when you don't have to. I'd rather take it back apart and put it in the connector make sure, after I make sure it's right. So that's what I want to do right now. All right, real quick. I don't know if you can see it. A, B, C on the connector. A, black, B, green, C, orange, A, B, C. Uh, in the throttle body over here. Excuse the mess, I got stuff everywhere. Um, in the throttle body, it says ABC. So, what I found online is black is the top wire. Black is A in that connector over there. B is the green wire, and it should go in the middle. And C is the orange wire, it should go in the bottom. So, I don't know if that's a coincidence, but the Holly one is labeled ABC. This one's ABC. It looks like that's the correct way, and if I, you know... It would save me a little bit of looking online, but I mean, I would have looked anyway to test or to, to verify it, but looks like that's confirmation, so we'll find out. Well, I'm just going to roll with it. Um, there was too much these pins were hitting. I don't want them to short out or anything down here. Um, so I'll just put it on. Hope for the best. Got the eye hooked up. Throttle position sensor hooked up and wired. Throttle body back on. I'm running out of things to do before I start it. Well, the manifold temp sensor wire is not long enough. Um, I am getting a different pipe because I'm, you know, doing away with the mass air. So when I do that, I'll move it up. You know, I'll move it up here. Um, for now, it's, I mean, it's not like pulling it like a banjo string or anything, but it's tighter than I would like it. All right, I hooked the handheld up. It's just laying in the seat right now. Um, this next little bit's going to be kind of tough to film one-handed, um, but I'm going to turn it on and do the initial setup. I'll, I will try to hold the phone and and fool with the handheld at the same time. All right, here we go. TPS auto reset before startup. Wizards TPS auto reset. I don't know if this is better with the flash, you know, with the camera or the light on or not. It looks a little better with the light on. Well, let's see. TPS auto reset. Make sure the ignition is on and the engine is not started. slowly twice slowly pressing it down to the floor slowly releasing it I missed what it says, or said. Um, hopefully it did it. There we go.
um, some people don't know that you can just hit that. You know, you hit a little square here. You don't have to up and down or move the slider. It takes forever. You just type exactly what you want uh, right in the box there. I should know this. <laughs> it's a B cam. Um, I want to say it's it's uh, two seventy something, right, or two eighty something. Um, I'm gonna pause real quick and just double check that. Yeah, two eighty four duration. Let's make sure. Oh, yeah, Holly Dual Sync. Sorry, this is kind of hard to do with one hand. It's got to be I mean, in stock. I don't know what that is either. Another ad break. Survey says 43. Come on. Ugh. I can't see. I can't look at the screen and hit the button at the same time and making sure I'm doing this right. All right, 24. Power adder, nitrous. Internal one bar. Well, I heard a fuel pump. So there we go. All right. I'm going to go check make sure there's no leaks. So this is like pretty much impossible to like film this and see <laughs> what I'm doing. You know, basically with my phone, this is pretty rough. Um, I'm sure it looks like crap too. Um, basically, I'm going to do the ignition setup for the dual sync. In the dual sync instructions, it says ignition type custom. So I don't know if these are old school. Um, but, you know, it says Holly dual sync. Uh, and all the other options it's saying to set up aren't in here on the handheld. So I'm going to download the config, um, head over to the laptop, and see if, other, see if they're in there. So go to global configs. I'm going to download it from the ECU. All right, it's already on there. Um, so I'm going to see. I'm going to play with the laptop and see if the settings for the dual sync or are in there. A little more in depth. All right, in the Terminator X software, there's a lot more. You can adjust. Um, I did put it to custom, like it said, even though there was a dual sync option. Um, I set it to one pulse, uh, digital falling, inductive delay, and the ignition reference angle. Uh, everything in here is how, what the instructions say for the dual sync. Um, except that bottom one, EST 5 volt, that's not what I clicked. There we go. Should be points to output. Um, I assume adjustable to well. That's one thing that's different. Um, but we'll give it a try. So yeah, anyway, when you're in here, 
uh, you just save the config, and you can re-upload it to the to the Terminator X control unit after you take your uh, SD card out of the computer. We should be good to go. I just finished the dual sync quote unquote setup. Um, just following the instructions basically line the rotor button up with that crank sensor right there till the light came on. Then turn it counterclockwise till it turned off. And then turn it clockwise back. As soon as it turned on, you stop and then tighten the distributor down. Um, engine still 50 degrees, top dead center. Um, this is this is the number one plug wire. So now basically I just have to reinstall the plug wires. Um, hindsight 2020. Um, basically, I can't remove my distributor until I take the upper intake off. Wasn't smart uh, routing that with the rest of them. Um, smart money might have been to go to go this way, um, but hey, live and learn. Um, but yeah, I'm not too happy with where I put the wire. I mean, it looks fine, but if I do ever need to take the distributor out, upper intake's got to come off. Um, so you might want to route your wire differently. Learn from my mistakes. Well, for some reason the fuel pump's not priming anymore. So, I'm um, off to figure that out. Alright, I've basically confirmed fuel pump is not getting power. This is where I'm picking, picking up power to power the relay. Um, it's got power here. It does not have power behind the intake at the Deutsch connector. So the problem is somewhere in here under the intake. So I'm going to have to pull the upper off and find the problem. Uh, it doesn't look pinched. Uh, it's moving pretty freely um, at the front and the back. So I'm not entirely sure um, what happened. But uh, that'll have to be tomorrow.